EU told take a look at yourself as Italy on verge of joining Hungary and Poland's revolt. The European Union is on the brink as multiple countries are expected to join Hungary and Poland's rebellion from the trading bloc. Catalan CSEH, a Hungarian MEP, told Roundtable that Italy, Slovenia and Bulgaria could be set to join Poland and Hungary's fight against stricter EU rules. Mus CSEH added that the trading bloc must take a long hard look at itself as the problems the two countries have exposed are not within single nations but in the European Union as a whole. Both Warsaw and Budapest have been pushing against Brussels over attempts to include a rule of law mechanism in the clauses member states must respect in order to receive funding from the common budget. Mus CSEH said, issues are gaining visibility because the market backsliding is not just a Polish and Hungarian problem but a problem in the bloc as well. Roundtable host David Foster replied, can you be a bit more specific? You mentioned other countries besides Poland and Hungary, which countries did you have in mind? The Hungarian MEP said, I would suggest the EU takes a long hard look at Slovenia, Bulgaria and Italy if the elections do not go the right way. We have seen significant challenges in Italy when Mr Salvini was in government. So this is not a problem isolated to Hungary. Earlier this month, Nigel Farage predicted that the European Union will not exist in a decade as the bloc continues to economically squeeze nations in the south of the continent. Mr Farage told LBC Britain has set the standard by reclaiming independence from the trading bloc and said countries such as Italy will have to leave the Eurozone in the future. Mr Farage said, the Brexit wars are over. The bitterness, division the agony of the last four and a half years of much of our establishment trying to overturn the democratic will of the people, that is over. Just look at what is happening in Brussels, the Polish and the Hungarians vetoed the budget. You have got a Eurozone that is driving the South into deeper and deeper poverty.